Managing your splits in Vim. That is the topic for the day. Let me get over to my desktop and I am going to open up my Neo Vim config. And let me zoom in so you guys can see a little bit of my config here. Now, when I talk about splits in Vim, I'm talking about horizontal splits and vertical splits. It's basically when we divide the window up into more than one section. So if I do colon to get into command mode in Vim and type the word split with no other arguments, it will do a horizontal split. It basically opens the same file I'm working on in a horizontal split. I do colon Q to quit. It quits out of that new split that I had just created. Now, if I had done colon and then V split for vertical split, it does the same thing. It opens that file I was working in in a new vertical split this time instead of a horizontal split. And once again, colon Q to quit. Now you can shorten these just typing colon SP for horizontal split works and just typing colon VS for vertical split does a vertical split. And if you don't want to type colon Q to quit, there is a key binding. You do control W for window and then C to close the pane, the window with focus. So control W, C to quit. Now that's some of the basics of first getting started with splits, but some of the other key bindings regarding splits are a little more complicated. They're really more like key chords. They're almost Emacs style key chords. And today I want to cover exactly how I remap some of those more complicated key bindings to easier key bindings in Vim as well as covering some of what you can do with splits that you may or may not be aware of. For example, did you know that you can specify the height of a split? So if I did a horizontal split, since we're talking about a height, if I did colon and then 10 for a height, and then SP for split, and then space, and then I could give it the name of a file if I wanted to. I could do my bash RC. It will open up my bash RC in a horizontal split. Uh, basically 10 lines high. That's not a, a very big split. Now say I wanted to actually max out the height of that split. Well I could just do control W and then underscore. It basically takes that horizontal split I was in and makes it as big as it can. Basically it saves just one line for the the other frame that I wasn't working in. Now if I wanted to make these equal and you normalize them again, I could just do control W and then the equal sign and it will put them back at a 50-50 split. Now you can do the same thing with a vertical split. So let me quit out of the horizontal split and this time I'm gonna do a vertical split and I'll once again open up my bash RC in a vertical split. And once again, if you wanted to max out the width this time instead of the height, since we're doing vertical splits, you can do Control W, and then this time instead of the underscore, do the pipe symbol. And it will make the width as big as possible. It only saves just one sliver of space for the pane that we were not working in. Again, if we wanted to normalize these, make them a 50-50 split again, then Control W, and then the equal sign. One of the most common questions people have about splits is, how do I swap the splits. How do I get the split on the right to be on the left and vice versa? Well, you could just do Control W and then capital R and you will swap the two panes. And that works in both a horizontal split and a vertical split. Actually, before I go further, we should actually talk about one of the most common settings people put in their Vim RCs or their init.vim if you're using Neo Vim like I am. Uh, regarding splits, so if I go down to somewhere in my config, I have this section about splits, and the very first line here you see, set split below, space split right. What does that do? So split below, it basically makes the new window appear below the current window, because by default the new split, the new horizontal split, is going to appear above the window you are working in. That's Typically not the expected behavior most new Vim users expect. The same thing with split right. This forces the new vertical split to appear on the right. I think that's what most people expect it to do, but by default it doesn't. It, it creates that new vertical split to the left of the window that you are working in. So most people in their Vim RCs are going to set split below and split right, and that's exactly what I've done here. The other thing you see here, then in the next settings here, is I remapped all the split navigation. By default, to navigate 
amongst splits that you have open. You do Control W and then H J K L, the direction keys, right? So Control W H moves you to the left. Control W J moves you down. We're talking about down through the panes if you had a bunch of different splits open. Now I've changed those to much simpler key bindings. Now simply hitting Control plus either H J K L moves me amongst the panes. So if I did a simple Control H right now, I moved to the split to the right. If I do control L, it moves me back to the split to the left. If I had some horizontal splits open, then control J and control K would move me down or up. I think most people remap that as well because the control W and then having to do the navigation keys, it's more like a key chord, more of an Emacs style key chord. And because you're probably going to be using those key bindings so often it makes sense to rebind those to something a little easier. Another thing we should discuss is resizing splits. So if I do a horizontal split here and I'll just open up my bash RC to resize a horizontal split, you type resize and then plus or minus and then a number. So if I did resize plus five, the pane that has focus will grow five lines in height. You see how that works? Of course, if I wanted to, I could resize minus five and it will shrink by five lines. Or if I really just wanted to make them equal, I could have just done the command I showed you earlier. Control W equals also normalizes the two panes and makes them a proper 50-50 split. If I do Control W C to close that pane. Let's do a vertical split. So I'll do a vertical split. And once again, I'll open up my bash RC. And this time, instead of resize, do vertical resize. And then plus five. And you see it grows in width by five characters. By the way, you can actually shorten both resize and vertical resize. If you wanted to, instead of typing the full name of resize, you could just do colon res and then plus five or, my, or whatever amount of uh, space you want to add or subtract. And for vertical resize, you can just do vert res and then whatever digits you want to add or subtract. And let me kill that split. Let me go back down to where I had my splits key bindings and you will see what I did. Nobody wants to type in command mode, resize, vertical resize, that you, you want to bind that. And that's exactly what I did. You see, I did some key bindings, control left and right, do vertical resizing, control up and down, do horizontal resizing. And I do them by plus or minus three because plus or minus one, typically if you're wanting to do a resize, you're wanting to substantially resize a pain so I thought three was a good middle ground not too big not too small as far as the increments if I just open up a vertical split here and I do control and then the left arrow key you see it's growing by three character sizes each time and then if I do right control right you know and then back to the left I think that's in the center I could double check it with control W equals no I was one off let me control W C to close that vertical split I want to open up a new vertical split but I want to open up going back in my command history here I want to open up this command here colon vs pipe colon terminal I don't think a lot of people know that you can actually open up a terminal inside vim in a split or a vertical split in this case. And I will actually get a proper terminal, you know, with the bash shell, uh, what I need to do right now, I'm in normal mode. I can't actually start typing anything, but when, you know, once you're in insert mode, you can type, you can escape to get into normal mode. So once I'm in normal mode, my standard key bindings will work. So control and the left arrow key makes it bigger. Control and the right arrow key, I can resize. Control WC would close that window. But basically you have, you know, your shell right here in Vim. Now I actually set that to a simpler key binding. If I scroll back up here, you will see I have this mapping here. You see map leader TT, which in my case is the forward slash followed by TT. And what that would do, well, let me show you what that would do. So I'm going to do WC and close that split. And if I do leader TT, it opens a terminal in a vertical split. So WC to close leader TT opens up another terminal in a vertical split. Let me scroll back down to my splits section here. The last thing I want to show you guys is how do you change the position of the splits? And I'm not talking about them swapping panes. That's easy enough with control W and then R. 
but sometimes you want to change from a vertical split to a horizontal split or vice versa. And by default, it's a complicated key chord. You have to do control W T and then control W either capital H or capital K, depending on whether you're going from horizontal to vertical or vertical to horizontal. That's seriously complicated key chords there for what is really kind of a simple task that you're trying to get accomplished. So I remapped that to simply leader key TH for going from vert to horizontal or leader key TK from going to horizontal to vert. So if you guys want to see this in action, leader TK. And you see, I just moved from a vertical split to a horizontal split. And if I do leader TH, I move back. Very cool, right? The only other thing in my splits section here in my VMRC is I set the fill characters for the vertical splits to basically be an empty character. By default, there's a pipe character that's actually dividing this line. And it's kind of nice visually, it stands out, but really I just wanted it to be just a solid color line. I wanted to get rid of all the pipe symbols that are in that frame by default. And that's all that that, that line there is doing. If you guys got any additional questions about splits, you can always get help in Vim by just doing colon help and then whatever it is you're looking for help for. If you do colon help and then the word splits, you will get you know, some help information regarding splits. Although I must say the uh, documentation here on splits is a little confusing. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of the show. I'm talking about Michael, Mitchell, Gabe, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Lee, Request, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys are my highest tier patrons over on Patreon. They are the producers of this show. Without these guys, you wouldn't know about how to manage your splits in Vim. You wouldn't know about it. The show is also brought to you by all these ladies and gentlemen, all these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because this channel is sponsored by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support my work, consider doing so. You'll find DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.